Welcome to My Worst Date. I'm Cassie. I'm Keegan. I'm Christina. And today we are so excited to host Elizabeth Dell. You guys, she's got a master's from Berkeley. She's <laughs> a sex educator and founder of the Amorous app. It is now on Apple phones, soon to come to Android. We're going to tell you all about it. But welcome to Elizabeth. Welcome. Thank you. We're not Thank worthy. you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. Thank I you. know. I'm I'm ready to get educated. Me too. I know a lot about sex, but from a like uh, a remedial user, a user standpoint, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, we are get trial and error creatures. That's the best way to learn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there you go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I guess first and foremost, I want to tell people about Amorous app. I know mm-hmm. we've done um, a couple of mid-roll ad spots about it, but mm-hmm. tell us about like founding the app and what you want to do with it and what it is. Yeah, so it's an app to get sexy with the person that you already have. And that was something that, I really needed um and I I am the founder and its first user um, <laughs> <laughs> those old hair care commercials yeah. um, so but yeah it actually got inspired in the beginning of the pandemic I was starting to see somebody but not that seriously mm-hmm. and then we all went into lockdown and mm-hmm. I was taking yeah. care of an elderly neighbor and I was like no 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 my lockdown circle is very very small right and so my intimacy is happening on my phone it's happening outside of my circle yeah. and so how did I and I was trying to manage that and I was always also trying to like be funny and sexy and flirty and sexting and all this and doing it in an apocalypse mm-hmm. so yeah. I wasn't maybe like the best version of all of that <laughs> and I was like you know I really really want this but how let me go find stuff and it was not I was not trying to find a business I was not trying to start anything I was right. just like I'm gonna go to the internet and I'm gonna say hey give me some stuff and it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna like yeah. play games with my boo and the internet was like yeah we don't really have that yeah doesn't exist and Sorry. I, it was so shocking to me I was like no 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 let me rephrase the question <laughs> I'm asking you for sex <laughs> this <laughs> is why we built you <laughs> <The answer laughs> is, yeah, that's pretty much yeah. like, how is the answer no <laughs> yeah. um, but what it was was the that the answer was you have every solo journey under the sun available to you right you can watch porn mm-hmm. you can take quizzes you can read big deep articles you can mm-hmm. do all kinds of things on your own but what I wanted was I was like, I want to connect to my person and I want you to make me and my person better together. I want that to be the experience at the center. And that two player game basically yeah. was the thing that all I could find was these 20 year old truth or dare games. That oh, were kind of oh those are so yeah. cheesy. They're like, what's your favorite way to make whoopee? Yeah, <laughs> like, you, you feel whoopee. a little sleazy and you're yeah. like, how is this a sex game that makes me embarrassed about my sex? Like, right. I, I, yeah. <laughs> This is not right. Whoopee. And so I uh, and so I decided, well, I can't be the only one who wants this in the world. Let me just go try yeah. and make it. This will be fun. Also, I used to be a film producer and independent film wasn't really happening in the pandemic. Right. So I was kind of bored. <laughs> yep. And uh, I was like, let's, let's go make sex games for people. I so love that's it. That's awesome. I feel like that's got to be such a relatable experience to so many people in the beginning of lockdown, like trying to oh. navigate. I mean, we talked about it, like trying to navigate dating yeah. in lockdown, I'm sure was very difficult. And for people like me who maybe I, I, I would need something, I would need like a prompt. I would need mm. a little assistance. I'm not good at like just spontaneously yeah. doing the whole sexting yeah. thing. Yeah. And it's no fun to be like, to, to even when you have some ideas, you're... S- how about this? No, that's not cool to me. How about this? No, that's not interesting. And right. you're like, okay, how many times am I going to yeah, put something like out there and get rejected? Yes. Yes. Or yeah. Yeah. You d- and so that's what Amorous is, is it's a space for intimacy with a whole bunch of games that make that easier, mm-hmm. whether that's question prompts so you don't have to think about the thing to ask your partner that's and it just smart. asks you a fun, sexy question. Or we have a matching game where you tell the app what fantasies you want and don't, and your partner does the same, and it only reveals them when you're both matches. matched. I That's love smart. that. That's smart. And so I love it's that. like, oh, we can start from, yeah. you think librarian student's cool. Oh. I think librarian student's okay. cool. So, okay. <laughs> let's let's, let's explore that. that how, what are you doing Saturday night? Yeah. Like, that is so smart. Yeah. And I've never heard of anything like that. Because right? there is that kind of like very tentative dance that you play with somebody when you're new where you're just like, are you 
into, into this? Yeah. Art do yeah. I, like I don't very know. Very smart. Yeah. And it's also it's it's new and it's also we have this weird pattern where you're allowed to have these conversations in like the mm. first few months mm -hmm. and then you're supposed to have figured it out. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. exactly. your play right. Oh and my god, done. that's so true. Yeah. And we don't assume that like 10 years on we like exactly the same foods right we're yeah. allowed to evolve in our taste buds or we're allowed to be like oh i'm five years into this relationship and now i'm going to learn the guitar and i did not want to learn the guitar yeah. five years ago yes. and today i want to learn the yeah. guitar but we don't do that with sex we don't give no. you a space wow. to say hey so now that we've been doing this for a while and like we feel safer maybe there's a lot of stuff that i never would have talked to you about yeah. in the beginning of the conversation at the beginning mm -hmm. of the relationship mm -hmm. you hit the nail on the head i mean i've been married mm. for like tw almost 20 years and it's true like you're supposed to have already figured that out if i don't if we didn't talk about it in the first few months of our relationship well it just doesn't exist because <laughs> And, you know? yeah. and I'm certain, I mean, definitely that's probably why so many relationships get stale in the bedroom because you don't like, you don't feel comfortable having that relationship past that point. Because I think that there's something that happens and you probably will be able to mm -hmm. explain this more in depth than I will be. But I think there's something that happens in relationships long term. Like you go from amorous partner to family member mm -hmm. and it's mm. weird to talk to your family member about sex. Yeah. That is Wow. Yeah. No, that's a that's a good point. I've really struggled in long term relationships too. to, you know, I am a spicy person. I like spicy things. I yeah. like talking about sex. I, I like all kinds of things. I'm very open about my sexuality and my sex life. And I have found that a lot of times that that happens, yeah. you know, beyond a certain point. It's just like, oh, yeah, no, we don't. No, I don't, talk we, we don't talk about that. We don't well, talk about that. I also yeah. think that maybe there's something like something that makes you feel shameful about not knowing everything mm. that your partner mm. is mm. into. Like you're like, you don't want to ask because you're like, I should just know these things. We've been together for 20 years. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's, it feels weird to broach that topic of like, okay, well, is there anything new, any new news? You yeah. know what I mean? That's why the swipe game I think is, is probably, probably one of my favorite things about Amorous is because again, you can swipe on, all the freaky shit and everything, yeah. but they won't know it unless they it's also up. swiped on the freaky yeah. shit. Yeah, there's, <laughs> and there's I love some freaky that. shit that I'm like, I like that freaky shit. I don't want to swipe on it though because I don't want to know that you're into it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Let's not explore that. It's good in a book. It's mm. not good in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, there's and, and that's part of it too. Is how yeah. do you where. How do you start the conversations in ways that you can say, okay, when is it conversation and when is it play? Like, what do mm, I yeah. want on Saturday? What do I never actually want? But if you like whispered it in my mm. ear mm. sometimes, mm -hmm. then that would be super hot. I, I don't ever Ooh, want okay. that threesome or I right, don't ever right. want that thing. But, but like, what if, yeah. and then you, and then it's just, it's just in my head. Mm -hmm. That could be Fantasy. really sexy. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you have a conversation with someone about, hey, this is... And all of those are really complicated conversations. Absolutely. That's like, it's like high level calculus, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody gets learned, no, nobody's get taught even how to have an algebra conversation when it comes to sex. Yeah. yeah. And so a big part of what I want Amorous to do is be so much fun all the time, but help you with algebra. I'm not going to help you with calculus. Like you're going to, that that's step by step. Yeah. But if you can start a conversation and just be like, oh, actually when we talk about sex or desire or intimacy or things we want or and you give me a back massage and then we just talk about touch that that was awesome that was that was delicious that was really cool yeah. so <laughs> like let's do more of those conversations because yeah. those conversations end up really good places mm. yeah yeah and then you get better and better and more you know there's a lot of people smarter than me who've talked about kind of the nature of long-term relationships esther perel and mating uh, i love Captivity esther yeah. perel yeah, yeah. Like that but yeah, there's these competing incentives of a long-term in relationship where you want to get really familiar with people. We like shortcuts in our lives, right? We like deciding which of all of the eggs at the grocery store are the eggs we're going to buy and then just buying them every time so you don't have to think about it ever mm -hmm. again. Right. Yeah. But every time we do those shortcuts with a partner, we remove spontaneity, we remove novelty, and wow. everything that drives like spice and adventure and mm -hmm. excitement 
humans are like doubly wired. We're wired to like stop thinking and take shortcuts. And we're also wired to always want the new thing. It's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how we still survive is because we're like, oh, that I've never seen that plant before. Let me put it in my mouth and see what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> um, right? Let me smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they died. And then that's how they everyone learned. But then Nazi everyone else that. learned. And then they <laughs> moved on. Yeah. But, you know, somewhere mm-hmm. in that. Five of them died, but two of them found the smokables. And so then life yeah. got really much better for everybody else. There you go. Uh, so, so yeah, it's how do you maintain that balance with a partner? How right. do you figure out when you're shortcutting and when you're like, no, no, this is a place in which we should not take each other for granted and we should be looking for new. We should be looking mm. for interesting and exciting and asking the question of like, what's new in your brain? Because right. our, I don't assume that my brain stays static all the time. I'm always finding new things that I love and I'm interested in. So your partner's probably doing the same. Yeah. How do you um, how do you broach the subject with a new partner or just with any partner, maybe a, a long term partner? How do you broach th- like bringing amorous into the relationship? I'm and this is actually advice that I give on a much broader level. Mm-hmm. I'm a really big believer in positive feedback, especially when it comes to intimacy and sexuality. Right. Mm-hmm. If you have a thing you like and you want your partner to do, hey, you don't do that enough is not a fun mm. message but right. hey do you know how sexy it was when you did that thing for me mm-hmm. that falls on the ear a lot different yes. and so yeah. i think in the same way like i heard this thing it sounds really fun it sounds like it could be fun for both of us mm. like i would like to have fun with you if it's lame we don't have to do it anymore but like how about we try this thing totally so, you know here's the positive experience i want you to have would you want to come into this with me yeah, yeah. no that's that's smart The other thing I really like about the app is I was thinking through how I would use it. Like when I was back on the the apps, the (laughs) dating apps, um, you get to a point where it moves to text message. And then that's often the time when like sexting and stuff Mm -hmm. happens. What's great about it is um, if you're doing something like that on Amorous, uh, you can remove consent at any time. Mm -hmm. I really like that because... You know, uh, there were times where sexy pictures were exchanged and then I did not want that person to have sexy photos of me anymore. And uh, they did. There was nothing I can do about it. Yeah. And it's this weird thing of technology that because when we send stuff out in the world, we haven't had any way to take it back again um, other than maybe sort of I mean, this was the basis of Snapchat they don't like to say that they were started for sex, but, well, um, <laughs> but yeah. you know, we, we know, make we know, it, make it ephemeral, <laughs> right? The <laughs> one way you can control it is to make it go away really fast. Yeah. Um, but I found that really frustrating because I'm like, one, I want to be able to look at that mm-hmm. while, while we're still in relationship. I, I want to go back to that photo mm-hmm. and I don't mind that you want to go back to my photo. I think that's pretty cool. I'll, you know, right. I'll mm-hmm. Dust my shoulders off for that. So, but so I want to be able to grant consent until the minute I don't want to mm-hmm. anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? That's the control I want. And and so, yeah, so we built Amorous to say, okay, you can't take it off of the app, right? It's It lives just in the app. And so then if I delete it on my side and I sent it to you, I del- it deletes on your side. That wh- Whoever's picture it was gets to control that picture for I all love time. that. That's amazing. Yeah, I yeah. love that. And that, that should just be inherent, but I think it's sort of a – it's sort of a quirk of the way of the skills that our technology had that we came up with an idea that that wasn't what was supposed to happen, mm-hmm. right? That we all thought that like when you send something to someone, so you send it. Like yeah. But we don't we don't do that with like a written word. If mm-hmm. you write a thing, you own the copyright on it forever. If it's yours, if you're an artist, just because you sold a painting to someone doesn't mean that that person then gets to say take the painting and put it on a pillow and go sell the pillow like th- right they don't own the ability to use that picture in the future right yeah mm-hmm. yeah and and so i was like how can we sort of twist back that idea and yeah. and but then but still have a place where it's like there and you can find it and all the fun stuff too so i built bookmarking features in because i was like um if I'm in a hot and heavy conversation oh. or a long-term conversation <laughs> with someone, yeah, uh, you get uh, like a thousand. Mark this <laughs> for later. In. I'll come back. <laughs> exactly. I'll come back. Put a pin in that. You can't <laughs> scroll <laughs> back far enough. Like you're yeah. like, I can't yeah. spend the next four hours back yeah. scrolling. Where, to where find was that. that sexy convo we were having again? Yeah. That is that so thing. smart and not <laughs> something that I ever would have thought of. Like actually putting into an app like that, but is actually like 
genius. Yeah. Because like, we've all pictures, been there. Mm-hmm. Pictures and text messages. You just like tap it, put a little bookmark. Yeah, put a pin in that for like, now. Okay, yeah. so in like three I'll weeks, I can you. be a later. <laughs> and scroll a little bit. That's no. so funny. Well, Come back to that when I'm not at work. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> like well, so you. the covers, weighted blanket. Don't worry. <laughs> yep. You mentioned uh, developing this because you were looking for something mm-hmm. uh, like this for you and your boo. Are you still dating the person I that inspired this app? No, I am not. Um, that was a uh, it. We, we had a we had a in- intense pandemic relationship mm-hmm. for a couple of. It actually was a couple of year relationship, but it did not. In the end, it was. Um, good for what it was it was good for what it was <laughs> yeah. he, he was lovely but he was staying home and watching reality television on a tuesday because it was a tuesday mm-hmm. i was Ooh. staying home because it was the pandemic <laughs> and once oh. it wasn't the um. pandemic it was like oh we don't like yeah. we, we were aligned in this moment of time but we are not actually long-term aligned yeah um mm-hmm. but i will say that uh we sent 14,000 sexy messages Holy to each other yeah. right. <laughs> during the pandemic. 14,000. And so I have a lot of very personal trial and error with all mm. of the tools that I wanted on Amherst. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it, it was not on Amherst because I was building it in that in that period. But I'm like, oh, yeah, I the features that we have are ones that were tr- like I tested every and I found nice. the hole for every feature. I was like, no, I need this feature. I need this feature. Nice. So he'll Very always smart. live on in your special thanks yes. section of <laughs> app <Exactly>. creation. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thank yep. you so much for being a beta user. <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly. The first beta. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always on these double dates, we kind of uh, sort of kick things off with a mm-hmm. would you rather. And so I came up with one for you. Okay. <laughs> would you rather on your phone be able to just have these incredible steamy sexting amazing connections Mm. but you never get to see them ever 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 it's just all through here Mm. or would you rather be out with the hottest guy ever i mean like bells ringing but you can't speak to them at all Mm. but can you can you do stuff with them (laughs) <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. No conversation at all. Ooh. Super. Super hot. Okay. Hmm. Can I actually change the ask? The, uh, hot or good in bed? Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. Oh. Very different things. Yeah. <laughs> Those are two different things. <laughs> very different. How about both? <laughs> okay. Both? Okay. Say they're they're hot and they're they're great in bed. There's just the you no no communication. With communication. You're never gonna communicate at all. Mm. Oh man, that's tough. Actually, that's really tough. Because right, it, it makes it hard for them to be good in bed. I think if if you can't also, communicate, that's yeah. that's kind of Very how true. I feel. Yeah, yeah. my my verbal stimulus is up obviously. here for me. Yeah, you're talking yeah. about verbal because I mean, there's a, a lot of ways to communicate that are not <laughs> verbal. Yeah. I'm she's just like, you said she's like, good in bed. tell you me with your to. body. Well, <laughs> <laughs> good in bed he's gonna tell you with his body right, <laughs> that's right. right. That's so right. i mean i'm with you i'm i love mental stimulation i love mm-hmm. verbal conversation but like that's not the only way to communicate that's true yeah i mean if it's an either or mm-hmm. i i would have to go with the 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 phone honestly because i'm just such a mental person like mm-hmm. long term i feel the I same way just take out my ability to like communicate mm-hmm. intimacy yeah. and, and sexuality and all that but it would take, be a I really, get really, really good <laughs> yes. at taking care of myself. But yeah, yeah I, I think so I'd hard. go with the phone too. I'd yeah. go with that connection. Yeah. What do you guys I'm think? I'm just too much of the life of the brain. Like I'm too much of the I life of the brain. I think person. I'm the same. I think I'm the same. Yeah. I think that it would eventually, it might be good the first, like if it's just like a one off, like mm-hmm. it might be good the first time with just the physical no verbal communication but if you're talking about like this is something that we're long term yeah for the rest of your life yeah the rest of my life oh no no i couldn't like i i would rather just uh, spend a small fortune on sex toys yeah Yeah. like you can get them from ulta now you can get them from ulta listen (laughs) i saw them on the (laughs) ulta app i was like it's amazing (laughs) it's our psa for the day there you go (laughs) yeah i feel same i i yeah, long term, I couldn't. I mean, if the window was shorter, yeah. if it was shorter, yeah. just a few months or something. Oh yeah, then. just a few months. Yeah, I'd probably hook up with the the hottest mm. guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but for rest of life, Mm-mm. I gotta. I'd also I take video of that because I want to prove it. <laughs> and bookmark, bookmark it, bookmark it. 
for later. <laughs> for later. <laughs> just for proof. Hey, you guys, this hottie. <laughs> that yeah, was just me. So, no, just so you know. Just yeah. so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I had a girlfriend the other day be like, well, you know, life is like, she's, she's like, my work is kind of, her company is kind of stressful. She's like, but I picked this up at the farmer's market today or like the last week. And she shows me the picture. He's like 15 years younger than her and not oh. wearing a shirt. And I'm like, oh, oh damn. well, okay. hello. <laughs> I, I was market. like, oh, did she get it like an yeah. aubergine? <laughs> what did she get? Zucchini. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, maybe some really interesting pottery. And I was like, yeah. no Hawaiian <laughs> surfer boy. Okay. okay. Hey. Okay. Wait, so so which, uh, which farmer's market yeah, is this? Just, yeah, exactly. I'm just going to take a note. Job it. Put down. in that. <laughs> well, we are uh, a dating podcast. Mm-hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Yes. Worst date ever. Oh, wow. I was actually thinking about this and um, trying to come up with, like, what makes... Okay, so the weirdest date ever? Yeah, Perfect. sure. Yeah, we love Perfect. a weird date. Uh, yeah, this was a bunch of years ago. <laughs> and this guy invited me to come over to his house mm-hmm. and have a drink. And I get there, and the whole house is white. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's like a duplex. Mm. And, like, everything is white on white. White carpets, white walls. Oh, that's There's a like bold kind choice. kind of religious statuary that's oh. all white marble. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of freaking me out a little bit. You're like, I can't and touch anything, right? He's yeah. dressed all in white. And oh, he's got this, like, he long is. ice blonde, like, white hair. I'm and I'm like, okay, I'm this is a cult. Danger, yeah, danger. This is cult stuff. Oh, no. And then he's like, hey, do you want to see my thing? And I'm like, oh, what thing? What thing? <laughs> do, do, <laughs> what do thing? I really? And yes is the answer. I mean, yeah, of course. You got to see what's going to yes, happen. Yes, whatever it is. Yes. He walks me into the back of a house, his house, and it's basically the back patio that he's then enclosed into like this two story hangar. And he's got a j- two story gyroscope in it. Like what? one of those spinning, what? like NASA is thing. Happening? Yes. Is he an alien from the future? It's I like w- a spinning NASA thing. And in the center of it is a drum kit. Oh, what? He has built this huge thing what? that he can like harness himself in and then set it spinning and be drumming in like 300. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds very cool. <laughs> I However, sign me up. You, you just can't I give some people money. Yeah, no. <laughs> truly. And, and I think that was the he I was like, so what do you do? And he's like, oh, well, I got in a motorcycle accident like two years ago. And then there was like a three million dollar. Oh, fucking told out. you. A giant exactly. payout. Yeah. He's like, I ha- he I'm had gonna sketches get from <laughs> when he was in middle school. So yeah. <laughs> he's he's like, like, this is what I want. Con- yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the like, contractor's like, like, what? <laughs> OK. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> this is. And I was sitting there being like, uh, OK. He's like, do you want to try? And I was like, no. I don't know. No. <laughs> I get very I dizzy. <laughs> Vertigo. Uh, I'm like, this I kind of do. But I'm also going to. Okay, Two this is stories. But yeah. I have to be honest. Wow. Everything wow. being white actually freaks me out way more. Like, yeah. I'm just yeah. like, I mean, the gyroscope thing is weird. Ooh, the ice white hair very also weird. disturbs but I'm me. Like, I'm not going to lie. I get yeah. freaked out when I'm. Uh, the way I become very like closed in on myself when I walk into a room where everything is white oh, because I'm just too. like oh I'm gonna fuck this up somehow like no. I know I am like no, yeah no, no. something's gonna I happen I tripped already up. Mm. <laughs> coming in years I'm like, ago I don't know where this wine came from <laughs> <laughs> somehow ago, I spilled this, it um, there was this party I used to go to at Sundance and it was sort of like for for documentary film and the hosts of it had like an all white house up mm. in park city and <sighs> their bars would only serve clear things of oh course. yeah, oh, sure. yeah. Like you, were, you were at this huge yeah. party yeah. and they vodka were like, soda or vodka, vodka soda, soda. Yeah. You can have a gin vodka and tonic, tonic. Yeah. Yes. champagne mm-hmm. you can have a white wine there you go that's it that's it yep. <laughs> even yeah. then it's like you can't have a buttery white wine no nothing mm-hmm. that's no no, no chardonnay <laughs> we're not no. doing a <laughs> nothing toasty <laughs> wow yeah i yeah a wow. gyroscope the gyroscope yeah i've never forgotten the gyroscope I'm intrigued beyond. Well, what's funny too is that I met him at this speed dating thing. Amazing. Mm. And he had Tell me more. asked for my number, and I'd been like, oh, okay. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, I don't think you were actually part of the speed dating. I think you <gasps> oh, were just at the bar. <laughs> he's, he's like, uh, I'm going to step in uh, real quick. Can I get your number? Yeah, we All right. Just and then like at the beginning of the event, and I sort of assumed, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, oh, you weren't actually part of this. I mean, <laughs> I will say, see. I don't oh. think I want to sit. In the gyroscope drum machine, but, but I, I would to love you. to watch him do it. In yeah, I'm like, I would love to watch you do it. In the pantheon of uh, got three million dollars and and 
purchase something dumb yeah. with your money. And fuck That's all. actually like creative, very creative. Honestly, yeah. very. Creative. Never heard of anything and like I will that. Will say that the return on investment can't be good. <laughs> I. Um, I mean, jo- <laughs> oh, can you can't put a price tag on uh, joy. Hours of joy. joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come I on. Mean, yeah. I, sure. Look, I'm Practicing not. I, your drums. I can't say that I wouldn't spend money on some dumb shit. Listen. If, oh, if I, I had all like of a, a sudden got $3 million? Somebody just gave me a bunch of money. Like, oh especially man. at a certain point in my life. Like I oh, oh in my 20s? Fuck. Forget about it. I would have had a gyroscope, in which I had a drum <laughs> kit. Yeah. yeah. In you would 20s. have a sex dungeon. I would have yeah. a sex dungeon in my 20s. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Like, I'm going on the Netflix show. <laughs> going, yeah. on, going on the Red Room. Uh, oh, my goodness. So yeah, that is that is the weirdest date. Yeah. For sure. Um, so <laughs> you're not dating uh, the, the boo guy anymore. Mm. Are you on the apps? Or, like, what's your preferred method of, yeah. of getting out there, doing so the thing? I'm I'm kind of living a bit between San Francisco and L.A. right now. Oh. So I'm kind of a little bit on the apps and the dating, but it's also moving between the two. Sure. Um, but yeah, I'm dating. Uh, I tend not to be on any of the standard apps. So mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. not where I date. So yeah. um, smart. Honestly, we've been doing yeah. this podcast for a while and um, very mixed results. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On the apps. It's a real crapshoot out there, honestly. Yeah. I think I do think that you you speak to something that is a trend in which that I think a lot of people are just especially because we've been trapped inside for mm-hmm. so long. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are like, you know what? I just want to like, I don't know, get out of my house and meet people in mm-hmm. real life. Yeah. I think that there's this trend going back to kind of meeting people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. IRL. Yeah. I have to ask and I feel like I always ask this and people are like, oh, I'm dating in a couple of different cities. What are the differences between, like, L.A. and and San Francisco? Do you prefer dating in one city or the other? Well, I'm definitely having more luck dating in San Francisco Mm -hmm. right now. But I also don't know if that's just a grass is greener sort of thing Mm. that I've been in L.A. for 20 years. And Mm. so I'm just very... Like, I'm, I'm kind of done with this scene. And I'm just so excited about being in in the Bay Area. Um, But also, I think that there's a lot of overlap in what I'm looking for in dating Mm -hmm. and the Bay Area Mm -hmm. more than there is overlap in L.A. Not, I mean, all of California, because I tend to want to date in the sort of ethically non-monogamous, sex-positive sort of spaces. And so those are the apps I'm on, those sort of the communities I'm in, that's where I'm looking. And there's just a lot of those people in Oakland and Berkeley. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. I'm having fun. Great. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dating should be fun. Yeah. Um. Hey, yeah. That's why we created this podcast because it's yeah. like even when you have a bad date, if you can, right. you know, tell the story and laugh about it and try to figure out gyroscope guy, yeah. then yeah. you know you're gonna make it. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. We're gonna do that. That'll yeah. be that'll be fun. Um. Yeah. No. I I like. I also like those communities because I think people are really straightforward. You know, Field and some of the other dating apps in that space. Mm-hmm. They're just very clear authentic yeah authentic but also honest and and i mean you can you can sort of authentically put yourself out there and still not disclose very much whereas a lot of times in these spaces they're like these are my prior commitments this is what i like and sometimes it's got it's nothing that i would want but i'm just i'm just so chuffed that they did I'm that just so oh nice. I'm, just so, I'm just so pleased that they're good like, for so you yeah. i'm a queer yeah. little unicorn who falls in love with everybody and i'm sweet to the point of saccharin and people oh. get really angry about that but this is really just honestly me and if you don't like unicorns love and puppies and and saccharin lollipops all the time I then please don't come out with me i love okay, I'm like that perfect That's that amazing. is Thank perfect you. Yeah. That's like, and i'm not gonna be letting me know i'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea i'm letting you know right now but like this is who this I is my cup of tea i love that straight dating apps really need to um yeah. take take a page I think out of the some of the kinkier apps yeah. um because yeah. I I definitely we've we've said it before if it's important to you if you it's who you are it, put it on, on your dating app yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that I will I will say this I first of all I think that we are as the women as a whole coming to the terms of like understanding that being single is not that big of a deal and actually right really blissful <laughs> um I will say that if anything happened in my relationship with my husband, if anything should heaven forbid happen, mm-hmm. I would, I think I would be very happy in a, again, non-monogamous community, the place I'm in in my life. I don't, you know, being able to have those really open conversations, people who are very, just know who they are yeah, um, yeah. and, and are just kind of okay with that. I yeah. would be much happier in that type of scenario 
not necessarily having to, you know, be in a singular mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I always said that I was like, I, if anything were to ever happen in my relationship, I'm like, I don't think I would ever live with anybody again. I think mm-hmm. I would, like not to say like you wouldn't I mean, like date or whatever, but I I'm see just myself like, in a golden girl's house I, or just mm-hmm. blanch in my life. Right. Up. I mean, that's different. Like living with your girlfriends is different than like moving in to a relationship. Was it, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. talking to someone the other day and she was like, I'm relentlessly heterosexual, but I'm looking for a wife. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for wives a woman who are wives are amazing. Family with me. Wives are oh, where it's at. Like, I want a family. I want a wife. I want us to like build a house, and I want a space. Like, yeah. I want I want my home life to be non sexual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I want Ugh. sex to be a thing that I go out yes. and go out find to do. Exactly. Exactly. I love that. Well, love it's, it's our, house, our children, our everything yeah. is just not that. That's not. The it's actually that. happening. I see it yeah. on TikTok. There is a rise in listen platonic when female friendships. Um, where like there are two friends, like best friends Love who it. live in together with like their kids. There's a couple mm-hmm. accounts. Like they both yep. have kids. They date, but they live together. Like that mm. is her, their their Love life it. partners, but yeah. they're it's non sexual. Amazing. I love friendship this. based and they take care of each other's kids and they date outside the home. And like yeah. and people's minds Bliss. are blown. Like the comment section, <laughs> men in the comments men can't. Oh, they yeah. can't handle they it. They cannot understand. They're like, You guys have to be having sex. And they're like, We are not having sex. I'm telling you, and like, also this is just my best friend. We don't have to justify any of that with Mm-mm. you at all. Yeah. And also of- like this world like if we were having sex we would tell you we're having sex Honestly. we're not worried about it yeah, yeah. yeah right yeah and truly you guys what what we need to to notice too is have you seen how clean the golden girls house is <laughs> that kitchen yeah. is spotless that whole place is just really always clean i mean wives are amazing that's yeah. absolutely i'm not gonna right. lie I'm to you saying. i i want a practical magic house Ooh. that's my okay. ultimate goal i'm mm-hmm. like give me a victorian on on, on the, the sea, sea with witchy with, shit uh, with oh, a okay. greenhouse yeah at me and a pretty garden and it all just you know cleans itself as yeah. you leave the room there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> i love this for us you guys yeah so got a plan. dating red flags then since you're since you're out there what was an immediate like stop go no further <laughs> do not you? pass go do not pass go i mean for me it's always engagement it's always do i say a thing and do you respond to the thing mm. or do you say something different because you weren't actually listening mm. Mm. You know, it's the old two question thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you yeah. seen that? The like, has anyone been able to ask two questions in an email and get a man to answer both? <laughs> <laughs> not, not ever. Oh I'm my like, god, that's so true. <laughs> you're only gonna get one. So oh pick god. One. And yeah, I think for me, it's just, do I? W- you know, am I with someone who's clearly interested in being in that moment with me mm-hmm. and engaged and responding and talking about? Oh, you d- and I love it when someone wants to talk about themselves, but in a context where, oh, I do this and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And they're like, yeah, that thing is interesting. And here's how it relates to the thing I do. And I'm like, oh, and how that. But there's an engagement. There's a flow. There's a re- give and a response. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's always when the person is just either monologuing or they're like going through that. S- they, they have that series of questions that they think this is how I be a good communicator. Uh-huh. Just like ask yeah. you question after question. But you're like, are you registering the answers? Because you're not responding to the answer. Oh, right. Is yeah. this an interview? Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Both of those are the worst. Like when somebody is just like monologuing, that's no fun. But the, uh, the opposite is maybe worse for me. When someone is just like rattling off questions and not offering anything. So now because you're on a job interview. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. awful. Yeah. And it's, I feel like, you know, Dan Savage has this thing where he ah, says you him. ask one question and then their answer tells you everything you need to know. Mm-hmm. If someone can't engage with you, they're not going to engage with you in every other way. That's right. Um, I had someone once where I, they kept wanting a second date and, and they were so persistent that I had to be like, look, you were just really, really bad at the first date and I can't <laughs> go on a second date with you. Amazing. And, and you they, forced yeah. me to do this. You're forcing to me you to this. tell you that that was a really bad date. And they were like, well, but it was just the first time out the gate and like maybe, you know, we'll learn how to be better on dates together. No. And I was like, actually, it's your a game that was supposed to be your a game yeah. right yeah you're <laughs> yeah. supposed to bring it on a first date to that's bring the whole it point your absolute best mm-hmm. to get to that second date so if that was where we're at i don't think we're going up from there no you know we might be tuning into each other's rhythms but 
if you were really bad at that, no, we're this no, isn't we're a fine tuning situation. Yeah. This is a full rehab. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. not, not into not that. Yeah, happen. yeah, they gotta have good bones. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it's a teardown. You gotta be able to <laughs> see. You gotta be able to we're see. totaling it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, send you back. a check. <laughs> Thanks, but no, I'll mm. just. Um, Can I just go for the condo that's yeah. just four walls in? Yeah, yeah. that'll be easy. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. I need a yeah turnkey situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Move in ready. Move in ready. Yeah. For sure. Furnished. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this has been an absolute yeah. blast. Mm-hmm. We were awesome. so happy to have you on again you. for our listeners. Tell them about Amaris and tell them about you and where they can find you. Awesome. Yes. Uh, so you can find Amaris at at Amorous app on all the socials and it's got its own little text spelling a m o r u s so the website's amorous.net twitter instagram all of that at Amorous app and then we are free in the app store so we are on ios android coming later this year and you can download and connect to your partner and i should say you know we spent a lot of time talking about dating here sort of the thing about Amorous is that it's after dating mm-hmm. so you cannot come find a sexy person on right. amorous that right. is sort of the whole point you have to you come to amorous and then you invite your sexy bring person your own in. sexy yeah person. bring your B-Y-O own sexy person sexy. Sexy. Um, <laughs> yeah. so just just for all the listeners you can't it's not a dating app right. it's not a marketplace but if you've got your sexy person or the person you want to explore sexy with you can invite them to come on in and check it out. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm um, I'm Elizabeth Dell on all the socials as well and happy to engage and love answering questions and sharing, you know, what's our most swipe fantasy of the week? Ooh, uh, what is it? This week's is find a unicorn. Oh, oh. oh. people oh. are pretty brazen. Yeah. 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 yeah, listen, that tracks. Yeah, yeah, I have a made up one that I bring in named Sasha sometimes. Oh, so, <laughs> nice. yeah. She sounds hot. She, she, she is, hot, is. But she doesn't speak the same language, so she could never steal your guy. No, right? No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there you but go. But she's, she's amazing. But she's she hot. loves both of us. So, of yeah. Amazing. yeah. She could never choose. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Cheers. 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 <laughs>